Three Sports with Jake Durant. Welcome into the fifth down. My name is Jake Durant. Week seven of the high school football season was headlined by a big time matchup in the Westpac. The 6-0 Menominee Maroons welcomed in the 5-1 Nagani Miners for our game of the week. Both teams playing some great football, but something had to give tonight. Let's head to Walton Blesch Stadium for the showdown between two UP heavyweights. We're going to pick the game up in the second quarter. Miners leading 6-0 and on the doorstep again. Kyla Carr powers it in from a couple yards out. 14-0 Miners. Menominee will get on the board shortly after that. Landon Bardowski runs it in from a few yards out. 14-6 Nagani. The Maroons would tighten things up even more a bit later. Trevor Tarakoff going to power it in. This touchdown coming after a big roughing the passer call on fourth down. But to keep the Maroons drive alive, it's 14-12 Nagani late in the first half. With under a minute left in the second quarter, Ty Jacobson finds Ian Ingstrom for the score. Nagani would go into halftime leading 21-12, and they would break things open in the second half. Nagani with a statement victory tonight, taking it down Menominee 47-20 to win the local three game of the week. We took every punch we could, we could take from them. They, they threw some punches at us for sure. Um, you know, they, they got a good football team, very athletic, and, uh, and we're fortunate at times. But um, I think our guys uh, really responded to uh, uh, the adversity that they were dealt with and um, you know, just kept, kept battling, kept battling, and kept plugging away. Moving on, we're going to make a stop in Marquette. Petoskey was in town for a big North showdown. Marquette started with the football, and they were moving the ball well on their opening drive. Jackson Jermu going to connect with Jacob McPhee for a big gain. Marquette into Petoskey territory. Marquette now looking to get the run game humming. Tucker Welch going to take the handoff, and he gets some nice blocking from the big guys up front. Picks up another chunk play. He's tackled at the four-yard line. A few plays later, Welch going to get the ball again, and he's into the end zone for the touchdown. 7-0 home team. Petoskey would answer in a big way. Third and goal from the seven yard line. Joe McCarthy scrambles to his left and he's going to throw across his body to a wide open Lucas O'Donnell and that's going to tie the game up at seven. Marquette's turn. Now I'm going to go ahead and call this a top three on three nominee. Jermu with a bomb and check out the grab by Wyatt Lakenin. Just an unbelievable effort to come down with the catch but on the very next play Jermu going to be picked off by Eli Peathers. Peathers is going to make a little bit of a return, but that's going to lead to this McCarthy with a deep touchdown pass to Mitch Eberhardt. But the good news is Marquette does survive a back and forth game. They take down Petoskey 21 to 20. Let's go now to the west end of Ishpeming where the Westwood Patriots welcomed in the Kingsford Flivers. First quarter, Kingsford leading 7-0 and looking for more. Nick Navarro going to find Jack Kriegel on the slant. Kriegel makes a couple defenders miss, and he is gone 14-0 Kingsford. With under a minute left in the first quarter, Flivers driving again. This is a fourth and nine from the Westwood 35-yard line. Navarro again through the air, and a blown coverage going to leave Noah Johnson wide open for the catch. He turns and waltzes into the end zone for six. 21-0 Kingsford after the converted extra point. Westwood continues to fight. Ethan Marta going to throw a deep pass to Trenton Wash. Tough catch there by the junior receiver. Westwood would not be able to score on the drive. Just over five minutes left in the first half. Another fourth down attempt for Kingsford. And Navarro going to bomb a deep one to guess who. It's Kriegel again, his second touchdown of the night. This one was all flivers. They lead with a 35-0 win over the Patriots. Moving on, it was Gladstone's homecoming tonight. The Braves hosting Houghton. Gladstone's opening drive, Nate Young going to call his own number. He scrambles in from four yards out for the score. It's 8-0 Braves after the successful two-point try. Gremlins come back. Check this out. Wyatt Jenkins going to break some tackles, and before he can be brought down, he's going to toss it over to Jace LaForge. That is a touchdown Gremlins. The two-point play makes it 8-8 after one quarter. Then right before halftime, a new weapon for the Braves this season. Sophomore soccer player turned place kicker Luke Ingram going to punch through a 25-yard field goal on the last play of the half. That's going to make it 11-8 Braves at the break. The second half belonged to Gladstone's Eli Berthume. He had three touchdown runs, including this one. The Braves win on homecoming 31-8. More scores for you. Iron Mountain won via forfeit over Lance. Calumet wins big over Hancock 53 to 12. Sault Ste. Marie tops out Pina 21 to 6. In eight player football, Cedarville cruises by mid pen 62 to 8. Forest Park conquers Ontonagon 48 to 13. And Pickford tops Norway 40 to 18.